Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Two Minute Projects. Today, we're building out a fully automated plant watering system. But before we can get started, let's go over the materials. We're using capacitive soil moisture sensors, adjustable power supplies, solenoid valves for our water transfer, a motor, some food grade tubing for water, and of course, our mini server and our app to back us up. So the first thing we do is cut all our tubing and then build our logic. In the upper left part of the screen, you'll see the logic that's actually gonna tell the system what to do. I know some of you are probably wondering why I'm using a solenoid valve if it's only one plant. But the plan was to actually have two plants. So when I do an update video, you'll see the second plant. But the valves are just another cool shut off and way to show the automation system too. Hey, so we getting somewhere, we making progress. Look, remember that logic? This is what it does. Our soil sensor is gonna send an analog signal to a greater than or equal to function. Meaning if the number it sends is greater than or equal to our threshold number, it's gonna turn the switch on for a set period of time. The mini server has eight digital outputs across the front, so the logic we build directly corresponds with the way it's wired in the field, so it makes it an easy and reliable installation. So in the grow industry, no matter what you're growing, automation makes sense. So let's try it out. Right now I'm operating it manually because we haven't wired up our soil sensor yet for an uh, automatic kind of deal, but if you look at the live view of the platform, where you see the yellow uh, is power. So it's the output for the motor and the output for the valve, and then our switch is power. And then the soil sensor. So the way we wired this thing up, it's gonna continuously scan for the thresholds built in this switch. And every time it finds it, it's gonna automatically water the plants. These sensors operate off zero to five volts, so the adjustable power supply was a must. So now we're doing some of our final wiring for the soil sensor. It's gonna be our last output on the board and some of our first inputs. Having digital, virtual, and analog inputs and outputs in this system really sets it apart in terms of the other systems that you can connect with and just how open of a platform it is. And we got everything wired up, so let's test it. Smooth. The lights are just something I added in there, but temperature, humidity, I mean, HVAC controls, anything we can add to make your grow the perfect grow. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, hit that like button, subscribe, tell a friend, whatever you gotta do. We here, we gonna make some more videos, some more two minute projects. I see y'all soon.